First question, is the Megalodon what was on page 47 of the, of the, <laughs> the Book of Secrets? Uh, yeah, you know what? I, I, I can't fully answer that question, but if, if that was what was on page 47, I would have cast Nick Cage and not uh, Jason Statham. <laughs> so why, why did you cast Jason Statham? What is it about him? I don't know if you saw that. There's, there's uh, people doing a study on how he's changed masculinity in the last 20 years through his really? roles. Really? I'd like to find out. I could probably use some pointers. <laughs> um, you know, Jason... Jason is 100% man, right? Mm. He is... I mean, you see, he takes his shirt off in this movie, and you go, oh, my God. Um, <laughs> he has such integrity and dignity in every role he plays. But he's funny. And that sense of humor is always the most important thing to me. It's easier to pretend to be strong and manly. It, you can't fake charm and humor. Uh, and Jason just has all that. And the movie, I, we needed a lot of humor in, in it. And Jason can play those jokes and you never doubt his strength. Mm. I mean, in finding the tone for this film, were you really, were you, you know, filming a thriller and reaching for the comedy or was it vice versa? Yeah, what was on the page was far more uh, action monster movie. Mm. And I just did everything I could to just pump in as much character and humor and fun. I was panicked from the beginning that this would be a corny movie that could play on USA Cable, mm. right? And just be thrown away as a TV movie. It needed to be cinematic. Just making it big and expensive takes you only so far. You need that extra element that can't play on television. And part of that is the depth of the comedy and the characters. And when you get the audience to join in with you to know, okay, I get, I get what's happening here, right? This is a, a monster movie that knows it's a monster movie, that's aware of other monster movies. It's still a good monster movie, but it's not taking itself so seriously that it doesn't see how silly this whole experience is. Mm -hmm. Why'd you kill the dog? I didn't, <laughs> I didn't kill the dog. Why would I kill a dog? <laughs> the Meg kills the dog. If the Meg does in fact kill the dog, mm being secretive. It is amazing how you can put 5,000 Chinese people in the water and no one cares. One dog and the whole world is freaking out. I was worried about that dog. I was. <laughs> but that's because you're sweet. <laughs> so what's the favorite film you've ever made and why is it Cool Runnings? <sighs> you're awesome. The affection I have for Cool Runnings cannot be underestimated. And we just had a 25th, wow, 25th anniversary reunion of all of us. Mm. Um, it was great. Cool Runnings meant a lot to me because it's really my first studio movie. I will never forget, this how it tells you a little bit about my upbringing. When I got the job to direct Cool Runnings, I called my parents right away and said, I just got hired for the very first time to make a movie for a real movie studio. And I went, whoa. And I said, and we get to go to Calgary, Canada and shoot for eight weeks. Then we go to Jamaica to shoot for eight weeks. And my mother says, how do you pack for that? <laughs> <laughs> that was her response to my first job. Excellent. Well, pleasure speaking with you. Great meeting you. You're awesome, dude.